Blue team, let's move. A signal again. Activate the console. Seems like we're supposed to. Well, the fact that there's three of these symbols means we have to do this three times. More activity around the large structure. Chief, what's happening to that building when we use these consoles? I don't know. Too bad the forerunners didn't think to leave a manual. If that signal is Cortana, she's leading us to the consoles. She hasn't proven the most reliable guide recently. We keep going. We find out what's happening. Yeah, and we hope that Cortana isn't corrupt or... just kind of dumbed down. I mean, she was going rampant when we left her. And I believe this is taking a little while after Halo 4. Uh-oh. That's another Guardian, okay. But it could have been followed. I wonder. Have the Covenant been coming through with them? Stands to reason. Any ships caught in the slip space bubble would be pulled through. Light bridge activated on approach. We're definitely being led somewhere. I mean, if we have a- if we consider things, most Forerunner stuff <laughs> is able to be activated by humans. We were- humans were designated as Reclaimers because the Forerunners are just- <laughs> they eventually were like, Oh, wow, we're dicks. We convert the humans into primates. Well, if they ever get back up, we'll let them activate some of our shit. <laughs> so maybe Cortana's just using us to do that. Chief, look. What did this? Holy shit. Holy shit! Identify yourself. I am the Warden of Eternal. I stand in defense of Cortana. She called me to her. And you came scampering. She knows your forgotten name. Who you were before you were 117? Do you find it odd your trusted companion should keep so much to herself? Take me to Cortana. Not just yet. Come. Let us talk some more. We're just gonna accept that? <laughs> the dude probably killed everything that was in that last area. <laughs> I wouldn't trust any Promethean anythings, and I also wouldn't trust any Promethean AI actually just talking to us. Why? What do you intend when you reach her? <sighs> Shall I begin? When you see her, you intend to? I've come to bring her home. If you understood what she has become, you would not speak of such a juvenile concept as home. 
Well, I mean, maybe you could explain some of that stuff to me so I don't have to be all juvenile, right? Let me see what these are referred to as. Forerunner record. Search one out of five. Search four out of five. Wow, we obviously skipped a couple. <laughs> so I guess this was kind of either a lost Forerunner planet, or this is a Forerunner planet and some of the shit that it's doing to bring people in shouldn't have been possible. Oh, great. We're under attack by Prometheus. It had to happen eventually, right? <laughs> As blue team. After all, the Master Chief was the one to first discover the Prometheans. You know, it actually helped me out. It grabbed my form, my my pulse grenade that I threw. It didn't have to do that. It could have just kept on shielding the guy. But now he's dead. Ow. Or not. Actually, he was just hiding. Hmm. I have fixed that problem. All right. All right, let's see if I can hit him. Kabam! Oh, yeah. That was incredibly risky, but I don't mind. Where is she? <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> Not down there. Where is she? All clear. I hope I didn't actually cut off like the rest of his dialogue. Where is she? And then he says something. My bad. My bad, my bad, my bad. Look at all these small little walls. They remind me of the Flood. But, I doubt this is a Flood planet. I shall spare her the inevitable suffering of your betrayal and end now. The mantle of responsibility belongs to Kotama and the other created. Ugh. I shall see it remains forever beyond your cross. Really? Okay. Man, everyone keeps on deciding who should have the mantle of responsibility. Ah, uh, we forerunners should have the mantle of responsibility! Oh shit, we're dicks! Uh, you know what? Humans should have the mantle of responsibility! And now forerunner AIs are like, well, um, everything that's been created should have the mantle of responsibility. Who cares about the mantle of responsibility? Stop it! Well, let's just, I don't know. Take care of the worlds all together rather than having one force try to decide it all for everybody. No, oh, but at least we know the, uh, well, we know his supposed purposes. The, what's his name? Warden Eternal. Well, maybe you shouldn't have your weak point directly exposed to us, huh? Oh, jeez. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> you know what? That's a great idea. I will take this splinter turret. <laughs> oh, no. Come on. There we go. I do? I don't even know what word you're telling me I'm fighting for. Okay, uh, if I can get to a high ground with the Splinter Turret, I can do some serious damage to the Warden Eternal. Ah! Warden Eternal, buddy! What's up with you? Why you gotta do that? Ow, holy shit. Okay. Alright, we're getting on ground level. Obviously being way the hell up here isn't working out. Pet. 
petty. Pfft. You say that, but what about what happened with the Forerunners? I'm just saying, they had their asses kicked a lot of different scenarios that they probably shouldn't have. They can resolve so many damn issues. Ow. I think I'm gonna die here. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Will they be able to reach me? Come on, Pathfinder, you can do this! Man, let's look at what happened! The Halo situation! We brought- we were, we were sent to the first Halo. And we found the Flood, and who left the Flood on there? The fucking Forerunners! I Prometheus and AI would know anything about this, I suppose. Or rather, they would know everything about it, but he wouldn't care. I think he hates everybody. <laughs> so many it's all for you. Okay, alright. We are in a decent high ground position. And I don't have any explosives to throw at the big ass group of enemies. E. This we got a checkpoint. Is the warden still here? Oh, he shot that at me. Where the hell did he go? I guess he's just gonna keep warping back. Oh no, but he's right there. Never mind. Get fire on the warden. Move up. Sure. Look at me. I'm the master chief. Pay attention to me. Don't shoot my friends. Nope. <laughs> Alright. You know what we have to do. Probably not die to the night. Oh, I wish I could do some serious damage to him from the front. I probably can, actually. I mean, it does disable him slightly when I'm shooting him a bunch. But the real damage is obviously in the bees, uh, behind. Woo! Ah, incineration cannons. That's okay, we lost Kelly, but it was a sacrifice I was willing to make. Come on, Warden Eternal! Bend to your knees and be annihilated. By preferably my team. I have no ammo for shit. Here we go. Get fire on the ward. All right, Kelly, coming back for the kill. So obviously, the Warden Eternal has multiple bodies. But I expected that after all the little things that we saw with him the first time around. Oh, jeez. That was a toughie. <laughs> Cortana? Jonathan, you made it. Oh my... I... I can't believe you're here. Where are we? You're on a Forerunner world. Designation, Genesis. Enough standing around. Let me get the bridge for you. The Warden will be back soon. You know him? Oh yes. Fair warning? He has a single mind, but a few million bodies. Yeah, I figured that. You were destroyed. After I saw John last. I was pulled into slip space. 
That's where I found access to the Domain. A forerunner system that spans the known galaxy. How are you still active? Rampancy... Entering the Domain. Touching this place. It cured me. It's like the water of life for AIs. How do we get to you? By accessing the gateway. The big building putting on a light show. You already triggered most of its activation sequence. Just like I knew you would. Just one more to go. I don't know if I'm a big fan of what you just said. <laughs> it cured me. It's like the lifeblood of AI. What? <laughs> I'm gonna need that to be run by me a few hundred times. Hmm. Still wishing they had subtitles for these, but, oh well. They make more sense if you actually have all of them together and listen to them in the pause menu, where there won't be any other sound to distract you. Okay, let me throw this grenade. I should have considered that a little bit more. to where I am. Come on. Yeah, we'll get to you. Damn, it doesn't say what it's called. <laughs> Someone told me they're called splinter grenades, and now I'm just fucked up because I want to call them pulse grenades, okay, you know? Here it is. Final activation point. You know, your talking icon doesn't show your face, and I'm not I'm not a big fan of that. Cortana. Why does the Warden think he needs to protect you from me? There's so much to explain. It'll be easier when we're face to face. Try me. The cure for rampancy i found means AIs can be immortal. That kind of lifespan allows for long-term planning, just like the Forerunners were capable of. AIs can assume the Forerunners mantle of responsibility. And once there is peace, we can focus on poverty, hunger, illness, but Warden believes some will resist our help, and he's afraid you're one of them. Sounds great. I don't get why anyone's expecting resistance. The didact made it clear the mantle of responsibility was an imperial piece. Step out of line and suffer. It won't be like that, John. I'll explain it better once we're together. <laughs> I don't know, man. We're already getting fucked up by the Warden Eternal. And he's showing that if that's what he believes the mantle of peace is going to be, or the mantle of responsibility, eh, maybe we should be worried. Right? The gateway is on the other side of these canyons. The Warden is sending troops to stop you. You can fly these Phaetons across the canyon, or take footpaths to reach the other side. Alright, blue team. Let's go. Take footpaths to reach the other side. Cortana, 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 Cortana. How long have you known me? I always like to fly. The controls for these phaetons should be fairly intuitive. As for the system to go. You'll figure them out. Okay, there we go. AX. Got you. And then I swap over to explode things. All right, I understand. Left trigger to boost around and dodge. X and A. To descend and ascend. Woo, those lock onto things. Very good. <laughs> Linda and Kelly are taking the footpath. That's amusing to me. <laughs> I guess we'll guide them around. Whoops, nope, nope, nope. Don't want to boost that far ahead. Holy crap. Are oh, you still alive? Whoops. I'm sorry, what are you saying to me, Mr. Promethean? Wanna come back out there and say that to my face? Uh huh. He's still alive. I want him dead. There you go. <laughs> uh oh, I'm stuck. There we go.
Who the heck is shooting at me now? Someone up top? Hey! Oh, it's Kelly. Although there is a knight. <laughs> oh, I barely dodged that. All right. I wish I could dodge up and down. This thing can dodge left and right and forward and back, and that's cool. But why not up and down? That'd be even better. Say you're holding X and then boom, down. I kind of want to see if I can run over someone. Nice I don't know if I did it. <laughs> I just kind of got myself stuck. Come on, Killy. Kill the crawler. There you go. Dude, come on. I'm going to kill you. You're going to die eventually. I'm just working on it. <laughs> Alright, note to self. That thing cannot run over enemies that well. Gotcha. Alright, come on, Freddy. I'm assuming this is the end of the path. The exit is just ahead. Is that where the gateway is? Yes, almost there. I guess to be fair, maybe they're hiding Cortana's picture just so that way when we finally do see her, it's one big reveal like, yay, look, Cortana! Maybe she's there had a change in appearance again. To enter since the fall of the forerunners. What? Oh, you mean the building? Okay. After the crash here, I didn't think I'd see you again. I'm here now. I just remember uh, the composer. <laughs> and I thought, oh, maybe something else is going to happen. I'm still just very, very untrusting of Cortana at this time.